is three to two. Ronnie James entering into the game right behind us as we speak. It's a one point game, and of course, his dad. Yeah, but um, basketball was always in the gene. Have to space the floor, et cetera. Definitely, I feel like I have an advantage. You know, uh, we had, we played always at the McDonald's All American game. You'll probably remember this is after you've made all this money playing basketball and you've had a great 10 foot pool right off of his French doors to open up our bedroom. And now, now mind you, this is not in a multi million dollar home neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a, a starter home. <laughs> Yeah. But, Bill, I mean, that's how much he was in the swing. Of course, it helps you in every area physically. Very good, yeah, conditioning for sure. Uh, Bronny's going to be at the free throw line here with 0 0.2 seconds left to go as they attacked in transition, filling the lane. That's one of the things he did really well, actually, at USC. Uh, the ability to run the floor, fill the lanes, and try to get ahead of the ball. And he, with time ticking away on the clock, was able to do that and get the trip to the free throw line. I don't think athleticism will ever be a question with Bronny. It's just the fact that he doesn't have the size to go along with that athleticism. And when you consider the fact that six, one and a half, and, and again, six, one and a half, the bear stint with AJ Johnson running point. That's a better role for Bronny James right now. He's attacking closeouts. He's rim running in transition. He's playing tremendous defense. The conversation of that underdog and the guy with the chip on his shoulder that he's trying to prove. You sat down with Kobe. Yeah. Did you get 1,500 players in there? That database told me that his closest comparison is actually Gary Harris from the Orlando. He's lost earlier. his mind on that top. He can take his <laughs> metrics. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Gavoni. I'm kidding. I had to take the shot. Hey, uh, but you know what? What he said is exactly right. Look at the way he's playing on the floor. Look at his movement on the floor versus what we saw yesterday. Nice little floater in the lane, and we saw that at the end of the, the half, or uh, th uh, second quarter here. He missed the floater. About him offensively is exactly correct. He's a bucket. He can make tough shots. He can do a lot of things. He's six foot one. Reed Shepard. Reed Shepard was more disruptive playing the passing lane uh -huh. with active hands. Mm -hmm. Got two and a half steals per game. Right. Than Rob. But. Conversely, when you go to the defensive end of the floor, you say, okay, is there a willingness to compete at that end? There's and a lot of guys in the league that can make shots. And the fact that he was able to come off the bench and be productive, I believe that's what intrigues many NBA executives. Is right now, certainly probably in that three to five range. So you're looking at certainly Houston. You're looking at San Antonio. You're looking at Charlotte at six, as far as where, uh, Portland at seven. It's plain and simple. He would not play. But you see how competitive he was yeah. here at the combine and how that's carried over to why he's now in the rotation. To go back to Bobby's point, they lost Bruce Brown in free agency. Another championship in the finals. So, but Christian Brown, after a year of development where he did play and was a, a large part of what they did last year, has a much bigger role this season. But it's their competitive nature of a guy that will come out here and play and not risk their draft status on the fact that there will be so many unknowns. I think the hardest part with some of these championship level teams, certainly like, you know, whether it be it to be expensive. I thought AJ Johnson, by the way, played pretty well yesterday. As Bronny lines up a three-pointer in the corner again, feet set, corner threes. Uh, Defensively, as well as distribute the basketball and make open jump shots, that's always going to be important to the eyes of the execs.